Left ankle. As Neto leads it off to Harrell, a little pump fake. Goes after his own miss. And this time draws a foul. It should be against Obi Toppin. Left ankle. As Neto leads it off to Harrell, a little pump fake. Goes after his own miss. And this time draws a foul. It should be against Obi Toppin. During media day, we said, what do you want to be called? He goes, Tress. And say, I'm not an undersized power forward. In fact, I'm an undersized center. <laughs> and uh, he's produced at that five spot. Denny Avdia on the second unit. This is his first game back. Shovels a pass to Harrell, and Harrell challenges Toppin, but couldn't finish. Derrick Rose looks to push. 7-0 run by the Knicks, the turnover by Avdia. Sims rolling to the hoop, and he gets fouled, and I believe this foul is going to be called against Montrez Harrell. Here's Harrell against Sims. Harrell nice. somehow got to his spot to get the shot off. Alec Burks is back in now for the first time as Fournier has his three blocked there by Harrell. Of coming off of rehab and understanding he wants to do more for the team. I asked Wes Unsell about that in the pregame. I said, you know, how does he balance all of that? And he says the one thing about Denny is he, he, he gets so hard on him. So and I think it's just a blessing that we're able to see him active tonight after that ankle injury because yeah. we thought it was way worse than it actually was and I think that's actually going to help Denny going forward kind of report that's one of the number one things for Denny Avdia is him taking that next step him getting stronger so I'm glad that me and him are on the same page and he knows that this situation this year he's going to be a facilitator on the second unit as Davis Bertans has checked in for the first time, the Latvian laser has come in this year in camp in much better shape. Knocks down his first three. Tried to draw the contact. Sims with a rebound. Here comes Rose. Harold deflects it. And now up ahead, Bertans. Neto to Optia. There you go. I know you're playing in the, in the big three, and so you were working on your game. I was working on my lip reading. Yeah, well, it's hard with all these masks. <laughs> in the building now. Chris Witty. Little floater by Harrells and Airball. They'll take on the Raptors. We're back in Toronto, actually. We can still call them the Toronto Raptors now. They'll take them on Tuesday night. They'll take them on Tuesday night. Yeah, Tampa was a disaster. <laughs> <laughs> Harrell running. Got it. And the foul. Montrez Harrell is somebody that I think people in D.C. are going to love. And guys like Montrez, guys like Daniel Gaffer, will be rewarded if they just run the floor. Woody. Fighting Harrell underneath. Harrell adjusts again, and there is Trez. Nine points. It's a 17-3 run. Beal thought he got hit. Harrell has it stripped and now commits the foul. It's a 17 to 3 run. Beal thought he got hit. Harrell has it stripped and now commits the foul. It's a 17 to 3 run. Beal thought he got hit. Harrell has it stripped and now commits the foul. Kuzma the no look to Harrell. And Harrell tries to dunk it, and he gets the roll. Topping the corner three. It's long. Harrell the rebound. Here comes Neto. You're going to be shooting free throws, and he's mastered this. He gets to the line better than a lot of big guys that I've seen, I've seen in the past. <laughs> I did. That's what I learned. Yeah, yeah I learned that, right. <laughs> and you had to beat Lou Will out that, that year, too. He called it kind of an offseason just because he felt like he wasn't used properly. I hope we get the Clippers version of Montrez because that and he didn't mince words talking about his experience last year with the Lakers. In fact, he said he called it kind of an offseason just because he felt like he wasn't used properly. Burks with quickly. Sims knocks and rose on the floor. Alec Burks, he's long on the three. Harold, there he is going for that rebound. 92-93. That was the year Pat Riley was coach of the year. That was the year they ran into the Bulls again. And under. 
So you got to have to have those player owning meetings. You got to have to talk about accountability. Knox working against Bertans. Quickly. And oh. There's Harrell with the big block. I mean, they just want to, you know? Right. Corner. Beard in the Beard's wide open in the corner. Knox was hot early. Misses that three point attempt. And Harrell's got another rebound. Shot clock down to four. Harrell over Sims. It's short the rebound for quickly. It's too bad the fans aren't here because this guy's going to be a fan favorite. Absolutely. I remember. Yeah, go ahead. And, and he was very quickly. You can tell the same thing is going to be true with Montrez Harrell. And he said that was invaluable because it just gave me a chance to really draw up my own stuff and really get guys in proper spots on the floor and defense and all this other stuff in real time. Tommy Shepard said his journey and Wes Unseld's journey have a lot of similarity. And you hope Willie Hachimura is back at some point because he can really add a lot as his game progresses. Yeah, 13 and 5 he averaged last season. I, he really came on strong down the stretch. And free agency for a couple of them guys is going to be coming up here soon. So we'll see what happens. I think the motivation is already there individually throughout this whole team.